Hey you guys, Kirkland family here, and today I am watching back and adding commentary to where my little boy played the Super Mario Maker 2. This is going to be video 3 or part 3. Oh, I was hoping he was going to do the winter world. I love winter time because I love Christmas, but we don't have like blankets of snow or really cold weather during Christmas time. We live in Georgia, so we're all still walking around in short sleeve shirts for Christmas. When some people are walking through like several feet of snow. Ooh, a spooky world. Like a ghost house. Oh, I like the desert. That reminds me of Aladdin. Oh, that reminds me of the mountains. I want to go camping in the mountains and swim in a waterfall. I don't know why, but this world reminds me of, like, The Wizard of Oz. Follow the yellow brick road. Follow the yellow brick road. Follow the yellow brick road. Follow, 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 follow. What is this, a castle with lava? Oh, he needs to break out that, um, what I named that thing? That dragon lava looking thing? Oh, I don't know if icicles are gonna work in a hot lava world. They'll melt. Oh no, Mario! Oh, We have had very little snow, and when we do, we are super proud of it. We all get out there and play in it, even old adults, as if we're kids seeing snow for the first time. But we rarely get it, so when we do, we really try to embrace it. Oh, a little gizmo. Kind of like a skateboard. <laughs> I've never tried one of those hoverboard things. I'm afraid I'd fall and break my neck. I don't have good balance like a cat, and I don't think I got nine lives. What is that? Oh, a swinging claw. That's cool. Kind of looks like a spider, though. We used to have a cat that would climb up a mattress that we had up against the wall when we would have company over. And we used to call him Spider Kitty. That reminds me of one of them claw machines, those toy claw things where you put a quarter in and you control the claw to pick up a stuffed animal and you never win it because it's really rigged. And by the time you it's over, you've spent like five, ten dollars and you could have gone to the back and bought you a stuffed animal. Which my nephew is actually really good at those. He's got the hang of it as far as like figuring out how to position it and getting one. Literally without exaggerating, he probably can get one mm, seven out of ten times. Oh. Doing them, I erasing them. Bye bye, icicles. 
There we go. That's what I'm talking about. Oh, there he is. That's Dragon Fish Fire. That's what he needed. Oh, whoa. Yeah, that's where he belongs. That's where, that's where he lives. It's like his habitat. Wow. That's like the Loch Ness Sea Monster, but fire. I really believe those things can still exist. Not still exist because they never found one, but do exist. I think there's things deep under that ocean that we have yet to discover. I remember one time, I think it was on the National Geographic or the Discovery Channel, they had had this video of this like, I don't know, submarine really, really deep under the water and this weird creature mermaid looking thing came up and put its hand on the glass window of the submarine. And I'm not sure if they ever proved that that was fake or real oh, or no. what. It looked crazy though. I mean, if you've not seen it, you need to get on YouTube and type in submarine mermaid and see if you can get it to come up and watch it. It was creepy. Oh, I think he might be changing worlds. Or maybe not. Oh yeah, there he goes. Three, two, one, blast off! Mario Maker. Has any of y'all heard about them charging, what is it, like 29 million? It's something crazy to go to the space station. Reach the goal without landing. I can't read it. He's doing to bet. Reach the goal without taking damage. Fires. I know y'all have all seen Smokey the Bear commercials. My grandfather actually used to work for the forestry unit, and when I was a little girl, we had to ride the Smokey the Bear float. That was like an underground cave. There's my Lorax tree. I wonder if he's going to actually stick with this world and create something. Are those little dog paw prints? Oh, I bet they're cat paw prints because of the um, cat costume for Mario. And the cat bullets, I bet that's really what they are. Well, there's a bad guy. Yeah, give him some wings or a pair of shoes. Yes, do the snow, do the snow. Nope. Ooh, and the water's cool. That's Mario's trail. Hey, let me go, let me go, let me go. Oh, that's a bunch. He's gonna put a bunch of bad guys. Hey, let me go. <laughs> Make it look like they've all jumped out of an airplane and they're falling from the sky. A Goomba? 
that thing that at first I thought was teeth. But it does kind of look like teeth, don't it? Bye bye teeth cloud. A bill blaster, a conveyor belt. There you go, put you a conveyor belt. Really, by me watching him play this and me adding the commentary to these videos, I'm learning to play this. That way, when I do sit down to play it, I actually will know what I'm doing. Three, two, one. Three, two, one, blast off! Bye bye, bad guys. I wish I could just upload his gameplay and I didn't have to add commentary to it, but I know that I got to for the copyright. Which is fun, because I like to talk anyway, so I'll talk, 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 talk. I don't know why, but that just reminded me of that Lamb Chop song. This is the song that doesn't end. It goes on and on, my friend. Some people started singing it, not knowing what it was. And they'll continue singing it forever just because this is the song that you're very welcome that that is now stuck in your head. Enjoy that. You're going to still be thinking about that and playing that in your head a couple of hours from now. Maybe even tomorrow. And the funny part is, is that you'll accidentally hum it out loud, and then it's going to be like a virus that contracts. It's going to like go out to other people, and then they're going to start humming it, and it's going to spread like wow. Oh, wow. It's the castle. Is he in story mode now, y'all? Did I miss that? Did he go into story mode and I didn't even realize it? Yeah! Well, it wasn't easy, but we finally finished. We couldn't... Oh no, he's going too fast. I can't even read it. Y'all are just going to have to pause it and read it if you want to see it. Ah! Oh no! Huh? Who left the reset rocket lying around? Y'all better watch out. That's going to reset y'all. That's going to... Erase y'all. It wasn't me, Chief. Oh. <laughs> woof, woof. Oh. He's got one of them cones on his head. He must have been neutered. Or spayed. I don't know if it's a girl or a boy. Five, four, three, two, one. No! Bye bye, castle. Uh oh. I'm gonna have to rebuild the castle. Somebody's over there taking a nap. See, this is why I am a cat person. Ugh. Woof! Woof, woof! See the button around? This is pretty cool. See, now I would prefer this. I like playing instead of creating. So this would be right up my alley. What is that sticking out of the ground? Is that like, like a, like a switch you need to pull? I don't think he can go any farther than that. Can he hit them blocks? No. What is he supposed to do? This reminds me of that movie Milo and Otis. 
I'm gonna take a walk outside today. Gonna see what we can find today. Gonna take a walk outside today. Gonna see what we can find today. A curious cat and a poke nose poke. See, there's you another one. You're welcome. There's you another one to get stuck in your head and to play over and over and over. You're welcome. What is all of this? Select a course, buy courses. Oh, this is like where he can make stuff and save it and then come back to it later and play it, I reckon. Oh, is he going back to story mode? I've been wanting to see the story mode, so I'm glad he went back to that. I think you gotta knock it over or jump over it, Mario. Use your helmet head. Maybe you can, like, run into it and hit it with your helmet. <gasps> I can't eat another bite. Which reminds me, I got me some cheesecake ice cream in there. I'll have to eat that later. There you go. Go run to all the people. I can't believe it. Princess Peach's castle, but we've used up an entire budget. This is really bad. Of course. Why? We are all Gives it. I tried to read it fast. <laughs> Didn't work. So I wasn't lucky for us. It's complete. I gotta say, okay, no time to waste. Most of well. wah, 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 wah. That's what I need to start doing. A downhill battle. Oh, this is cool. Wee! Oh, we got an extra man. Here's what I wonder. This story mode, is this like, oh yeah, I guess it's worlds they've created for you to, to play and win. There you go, get you some firepower. No, don't let those Goombas get you. There you go. Get you that flower. Good job. What is that? Now, I ain't never seen that before. That looks like a ticked off Goomba. There you go, get on the music now. Ooh, there you go, Mario. Get him! Run, run! You got star power! Nobody can touch you! Ooh, see if you can get that cool, I bet it oh, look, flowers. It's springtime, it's so happy! pretty good at playing this. I figured he wouldn't even wait to get the coin. I figured he'd just keep moving forward and not even get it. Ooh, boom, he beat it. World 1 complete story mode. Alright, you guys, I think I'm gonna pause it here. Well, wait, I'm gonna let them do their thing and see what happens. 131 coins. I wonder if you get to use the coins to buy stuff. Let's lay this foundation. Alright you guys, I'm gonna wrap it up right here. And this will be my video 3. And I will pick back up with a video 4. See you guys later. Talk later. Bye.